Hey everybody, welcome back to Heart Breathing. So I have another planner set up video for you today and I'm so excited to show off my Kiki K bubblegum planner. This is one of those like elusive planners that is really hard to get your hands on and this was not part of my um, six ring binder haul video that I will actually link for you down below if you haven't seen that before and you like six ring binders because it is new to me and I'm going to talk about where I got it, how much I paid for it, and I'm going to show you my February setup in this Kiki K bubblegum planner. So like I said, I did early last year make a decision that instead of getting, you know, a new planner every six months or every year that's just totally brand new. I really wanted to use my custom inserts that I created for writers, which is called the HB90 Method Planner. And, you know, in order to kind of take care of that shiny object syndrome, I decided to buy a bunch of different six ring binders. And Kiki K is one of my favorite. They have genuine leather planners there, and they also have some cloth planners. They're very good quality. They last for a really long time, and they're just my favorite designs. But if you're familiar with Kiki K, you know that they come out with collections. So this was part of what I believe was called their bubblegum collection. And it's this beautiful bubblegum pink and everything has this um, gray and white stripes in the inside of it. But once they sell out or once they stop carrying it, you can't find it again. So they don't have as many things that are like evergreen and always available. And back when this was available several years ago, like maybe this was from 2015 or somewhere around there, they had already sold out of the regular six ring binders. And so I did get like a compendium, which is like a notebook holder and I never ended up using it. So I sold it, but I have always, always wanted this bubblegum pink because pink is my favorite color. And I just wanted to get a hold of it. Well, I actually happened to find this on a Facebook buy, sell, trade Kiki K group. And I couldn't believe it because it was listed super cheap. It was only like $35. And the reason behind it being so inexpensive is as you can kind of see here, it's got a little bit of a discoloration. So I don't know if it, I'm not exactly sure what happened to it. You can't really tell exactly what happened to it. It just looks like maybe uh, just a little defect like some when someone was using it. But other than that, it's in pretty much perfect condition. I will say it did also have like I think it must have come from a smoker's home because it had a little bit of a smoky smell to it. So what I did was I put fabric softener sheets in a bag with it and left it in there for a while. And then I put like a spray that I have that's sort of like an odor neutralizing spray. And now it smells perfect. You can't smell the smoke in it at all, which I was so relieved because I was a little bit worried about that. So I got this for really inexpensive of less than $50 with shipping. And if you ever happen to find this like on eBay, sometimes it'll be two or $300. So I feel like I got super lucky. And even though it does have this one little imperfection, I'm so happy to have it. And it just felt like February was the perfect time to set it up because it's pink and we've got Valentine's coming up and all of that. So you can kind of get a little view here of some of the way that I've got it set up. And I'll just walk you through it real quick. So as with all Kiki K planners, it has the little gold embossed Kiki K on the the back and it has a little gold clasp here which does have some give to it so it allows me to pretty much fill this all the way up up here as a little addition here this is from the life is wonderful collection and hopefully you can see there it says life is wonderful and I just tagged that like onto the top here so it'll hang off this is a pretty heavy like keychain but I got this from my husband for Christmas along with a few other Kiki K goodies this planner charm here that I've put on the zipper front is from Coco Daisy and I don't actually subscribe to the Coco Daisy inserts but they had this as one of their collections last year had the typewriter and they sold this charm separately and even though this is silver hardware I thought it would be kind of pretty on, on this zipper over here so this is the inside of the planner. I kind of went a little bit more crazy than usual setting up the pockets, but I just really am in love with this color and this planner. So I just went for it, all the pink. So this New Year New Me is a emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. shop. She sent out die cuts for free if you did like a certain number of order for Black Friday. So I laminated that and I've had that in my planner so far all year. I just switched out from a black Kiki K that I didn't film the setup for that, but um, it was just like a New Year's setup. This graphic here and actually all of the graphics that you'll see inside the planner, including this little like mason jar and the heart back here, all of this stuff comes from Planner Press, and I've talked about this before, but they have a subscription box called the Digital Dash, which is 
all dashboards, die cuts, folders, all kinds of stuff, even sticker kits, washi tape. It's like a digital kit that comes with over like a thousand files, I think, or 600 files. I will link to it down below. I'm not any kind of like sponsor for it. I just really enjoy it because I knew if I was going to be setting up my planner pretty much in a new way every month to keep things fresh, it would be really hard to just keep trying to like use my imagination and using scrapbook paper and stuff like that. And I didn't want to spend a ton of money. So these are about $10 for all those files and you get files that will fit like your mini happy planner, your Erin Condren, a big happy planner classic. So I can use those files in lots of ways. And I figure, you know, I can use them for now and then I can also use them again next year because they're principles. So they're um, $10 about a month. And this is my fourth month of getting in. It's great because I just use all of the things that she has and it can make my planner really pretty. And I've just been trying to kind of coordinate what color binder I use based on the colors of the things that she put out. I know that she said um, she specifically was trying not to make Valentine's too like lovey dovey. So she made it more like about friendship than it is about like romance. So you've got a lot of different um, dashboards and things that are more like friendship and things like that. So another great thing about it is like, so this, I think this girl stays the same on all of them and this does too, but this girl in the front, you can choose. So she'll do different skin tones. So she has a more dark skinned girl with black hair. She has a, um, like a basically the same skin tone, but with black hair and then lighter skin tone with blonde hair. So she does lots of different skin tones, which is kind of nice because you can pick the one that you either think looks the best or the one that most looks like you and it kind of is all inclusive which I sincerely appreciate that because it makes it available pretty much to everyone so here in the front I also just have so I, I printed out this is from the vision board it's just like a little champagne pops and some gifts so I printed that out laminated it and kind of stuck it on here I have just a few other little like paper clips which these say XOXO which I thought would be cute for Valentine's this little Hermione came from a shop on Etsy that came with it was like a paper clip and it fell off so I just keep putting it in the front of my planner then I've got this little Hello Kitty button that I actually have instead of like putting it on the leather which I wouldn't want to do I have it attached to this O here I also have some Hello Kitty sticky notes a little Donatella Toki Doki this little heart here is from the kit except it's supposed to be balloons and then I just put like a little shaker Hello Kitty in a Sunday cup. I don't know. It's just really cute. So I stuck that in there. And then I have this little bow clip that came from Hobby Lobby, which is also cute. And I just kind of stuck it in, in the front. This is another pin that also doesn't clip, but it just, um, adhes like adhered on there. And then I finally have this little bird bookmark, which I thought was really cute. And it really matches the pink just about perfectly. I got this for literally you guys like 12 cents at Tuesday morning. If you have a Tuesday morning near you and you did not know that they have stationery, you should go check it out because they have sometimes even like happy planner sticker books for four or five dollars. They've got little ephemera and things like this that you can sometimes pick up for just like pennies. Like I got this in the clearance section. It was like 12 cents or something. It was ridiculously cheap. So you just never know Tuesday morning. So moving on, I've got another little Tokidoki clip up here. This is the little puppy in the cup. And um, these are just like magnetic clips that I think I got from Barnes and Noble. So I thought it would be kind of cute. And this is my first dashboard. It says life is sweet and has donuts. And even though I don't eat sugar, um, I still appreciate the way like donuts and sugary things look. For a long time when I cut sugar out, like for several months, I couldn't have any like decorations that had sugar because I was just like craving it so much. But now it doesn't bother me to have it. So a lot of little cute donuts there. And I absolutely love pink and teal. It's my favorite color combination of all time. So um, I love that pink donuts with this teal background. Then what she has is she'll have different things like you can take the different files and you can mix and match what you want. So I could have done this double sided and just put the donuts on the back here. But instead she has these like little Hershey kisses. So I put that on the back of a lot of my dashboards as well as some like little Rilakkuma um, st sticky notes and some other little ones that I got from Michaels. I like to always put different stickies on the back of my dashboard so that I can just pull them off and use them throughout the month. Another one of my favorite things from the digital dash kit is that you can print your own post-it notes and you guys I didn't even know that you like I guess it makes sense because they're just paper if you get regular white post-it notes why couldn't you print on them but it just never occurred to me I kind of want to play around with it and put some of my book covers on post-it notes and like my logo and stuff just because it's fun but basically 
basically she gives you a template where you can just take the post-its and put them out on the template and then you stick it through your printer and it prints. Look how cute these are. It says hashtag friends forever and it's just got all the girls there and I just think it's so pretty with their bows and their hair. So I always print out at least like six of these and I use them throughout the month. Then you guys will recognize this if you've watched any of my setup videos. These are from Webster's Pages. They fit right in the six rings and I've kept the pictures the same. But this is just like family pictures from our trip to Disney. It makes me happy to open my planner and see pictures of my family. So in this first section, I have my HB90 method, which is all of my goal setting stuff for the year. It has lists of all my projects and tasks that I'll be doing, all of my like vision for what I wanna do with my life. So that always stays in here. Another thing from the digital dash kit is a folder. So she doesn't, I don't think always include these in the digital dash, but this month is a really cute folder. It says with all my heart, and then you get the, the back side of it, which has a little slit here. So I laminated these and she actually has a walkthrough on how to create these folders if you get the kit, but you could actually, as long as you know to make like the A5 size and then a side that has the little slit here, like the half size, you could really create a folder out of just about anything you wanted. So it's kind of got me thinking through different ideas, but she has a front, the back, and then the folder side. And I just laminated it and then cut it open so that you've got a little folder. I put some little Karomi page flags on there so that, um, I can just pull those out and use those. I think I got this off of um, AliExpress. Another dashboard here, this one is Starbucks. And again, just like all of them, you can change the skin tone and choose the skin tone that most appeals to you. More of the dashboard with the kisses on the back and some more of the post-its and some Hello Kitty you know, page flags. This little page flag thing, I think I also got this from Tuesday morning and I'm not sure what company makes them, but these say love and hello there and some other things that I thought kind of were appropriate. So I've got tons of page flags, which I use throughout the month to like mark off notes and different things like that. I've got another set of these pictures that have a lot of my book covers on them. Um, then I have my monthly stuff. So I've got my yearly calendars in here, which I haven't really done much with other than so far, just kind of using them for reference when I need to know like, oh, is the eighth on a Friday and stuff like that. But I will eventually go through and mark when I have a new release. Like I have a brand new release coming up on February 18th. That's an anthology. So I'll probably go ahead and mark that with a different color and put my releases in here and keep track of my release date schedule. Then I also have my monthly calendar. So another cool thing that she has some in some of the months are these sort of side tabs where you can print out like monthly, weekly, today, and lists is what she has for this month. And so I print them and then I cut them out with my Cricut and then I just laminate it so that it's got this kind of clear thing. And when it sits in your planner, it kind of sticks out on the side like a little tab. So you can always kind of locate your monthly spread. So that's kind of cool. As you can see, I decorated and got everything ready for January, but I haven't yet gone through and done everything for my February monthly plan. So I've got this little Hello Kitty clip um, that I can't remember where I got from Etsy. Um, if I can remember, I'll link it down below, but I'm not 100% certain. It's kind of seen better days, <laughs> but I need to go through and finish my February plan, but I also have March in here as well, and just a few things like my upcoming HB90 boot camp and my son's spring break and stuff like that. One exciting thing that I have coming up is I have another writing retreat coming up, not this coming week, but next week with my friend Zoe Dawson. And if you guys would like to see a, like a, a live walkthrough of my retreat like cabin. We've got a, um, a condo near the beach in Hilton Head where we're going to be staying. And I originally had done a live from one of my retreats that was kind of a Q&A. And somehow I accidentally deleted it from my channel. And because it was something that was alive, I have no backup recording of it. So if you guys want to see a current live of a retreat and what I do and how I prepare for my writing retreats, let me know. I'm planning to be there for three nights, four days, and I'm hoping to get at least 30,000 words written. So if you want some um, little tips on how I write so much and how I get prepared for those writing retreats let me know in the comments below some of this stuff you'll see I just carry over from planner to planner this was a postcard that came from pip sticks and I just love it so I keep it in there this is another of the digital dash dashboards with little conversation heart leggings and then another back dashboard you guys will recognize the ass kicker sweetie which is my favorite thing my husband drew that for me it moves into every planner with me then I have my 
weekly and um, daily pages for my HB90 planner. And what I've been doing, because I can't keep all 90 days in one planner because it would just be too full and it wouldn't be manageable. So every month I just take out the old pages and start brand new. So you can see this one starts, I've got the weekly tab here to mark my place and then this one starts with week number six february 4th through 10th and what i do is i write out all my tasks according to my goals i keep track like of all my social media growth what book i'm working on if i'm going to write a blog post this week and then i have my weekly spread here for the entire week where i keep up with my social media any little habits i want to track and i keep up with all my tasks and projects that i'm working on and then i have my daily pages which i have my time to track over here and then I keep up with my schedule and all my to do's as well as my word count over here and any little extra notes. So I've got a little today tab here that will mark that off and I'll just move it for every day. So then at the end of the week, I have a little review questions for like how I did this week and then it just moves back over. So I keep the pages for the entire month. So all of February is in there right now. Then this next dashboard says hashtag friends forever. And as you can see this little part right here, it didn't laminate correctly, but I didn't want to have to reprint it and relaminate it. And since I'm only going to be using it for a month, I figured I'll just leave it. But I always hate it when it laminates incorrectly. It made me kind of sad. But this is another one of the pretties that she has. So this has that mason jar like you saw on the die cut up here and the balloon. So this is another little pretty I put on the back of this one. More book covers. And then, oh, this is kind of a cool thing that I found from another Etsy shop. And this is from Copper Boom Studios. You can kind of see the link hopefully down there at the bottom. But this is a Hogwarts library card and it made me so happy when I found it. She has them downloadable in several different sizes. So I think you can get letter size. And I, of course I got the A5 size. I think it comes all in one fold, like one file. But you've got Gryffindor. Um, she has Slytherin and Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw and all of them. So Gryffindor is my house. You can let me know in the comments what your um, house is for Hogwarts but it's just kind of cool so it's got like the restricted area it's got this thing like with your rules and stuff and then it has like a little um thing from Quidditch and then it says Ron and Lavender um but just kind of cute little things on here so I did a front oops I did a front and back version of this where I can track what I'm reading fiction wise. So I've already finished reading two books this year, The Shadow Rising by Robert Jordan, which is part of the Wheel of Time series and The Drowned Girls by Laura Ann White, which if you like gritty like police procedurals that are really dark and twisty, that was an amazing book. You can get it on Amazon. And then I also have read two nonfiction books this year, Playing Big by Tara Moore and The Newsletter Ninja by Tammy Labreck. If you're an author and you're looking to up your game on your ninja or on your newsletter, I highly recommend that book. So I'm kind of trying to keep track of which books I've read this year. And I try to keep at least one or two fiction and one or two nonfiction, you know, read every single month. So we'll see how that goes. Those are really cool. So just a shout out, I'll link those down below for you because those were really, really cool. And if you're a Hogwarts fan or Harry Potter fan like me, you would probably love to have that if you're tracking any of your reading. So then here, what I have is this is my writing plan. You can actually download this on my blog if you're a writer, but you can put in your book title, your word count goal, and how many days you want to write like words per day. And then you can basically track your writing schedule. Like I have a whole video on how I use this sheet. So I will link that down below. And then from my, this also comes with my HB90 planner, along with this word count tracker where you can write the date, how much you got this sprint, how much you got today and how much total you've gotten so far in the book. And I'm working on this book called Fate Surrender. And so I'm going to fill this out now that I'm getting like super serious about it. And this book is going to get finished this month. So I'm working on that. I'm going to add that in here. Then I've just got note, various notes like blog planner, editorial calendar and stuff for Sarah Cannon. I've also got a, a sheet that I got from Etsy that has different social media stats that I'm going to track throughout the year. So by the time I get to December, you know, I'll be able to see how many people are in my Facebook group or my newsletter and things like that. So this is all kind of like reading and writing stuff. Then this next dashboard has, you know, the girls having champagne or who knows, maybe apple juice together. And then I used that Starbucks one again on the back with some more sticky notes. I've got that same social media stats thing printed out for heart breathing so I can track my YouTube and newsletter and blog stuff for heart breathings. And this entire section here basically has to do with my editorial calendar and stuff for heart breathings. So I keep that separate. Then I've got 
this one, I think this is maybe the last one or two. So this part came from the inserts, I think, but I used it, or no, this was a quote card. So it's the month of February with the 14th kind of highlighted there, as well as there's another little thing that says something like love on the back, but I covered it up with this little happy planner pocket. And I like keeping these washi strips in here because I can use them throughout my decorating on the daily pages and stuff. So that stays in there. More just pretty pictures that are inspirational. Um, just some stuff about products that I've got coming out in the store, courses that I'm taking. Um, this was another thing that I got from a Brimble's box, which was several years ago. Um, more stuff about courses. And I put this little list um, side tab here because I've got lists of the courses that I'm taking. I kind of am a course junkie where I love to sign up for courses and take them, but then I don't always finish um, going through them all. So I've got the main courses that I wanna finish going through and like taking notes on this year. And I've got checklists for which videos I've watched and which ones I haven't. So that's my list section. And then I've got some more stuff that's kind of like some more sticky notes. Like I love this one that's a macaroon here and some basic just note cards and stuff like that in the back. And then I always kind of keep this piece in the back that came from a owl crate from the book Eliza and her monsters which is a YA book that is so incredible it's one of my favorite like contemporary YA books I've ever read and so this came from one of the owl crate things where that where I discovered that book and I always kind of keep it in the back to help keep the um rings from like damaging the back this planner actually still came with some of the original note pages which is kind of cool as well and you can see the pretty um, striped pattern in the back and then I just have this uni style fit multi pin that has five different colors in it and so I keep some certain things color coded in my daily tasks with this pin and it looks really cute with this planner because it's also pink so that's pretty much everything for my February setup another thing that I use I've been using are these really really cute clips so these all three of these sparkly ones the heart the pink one and this one that's kind of purple pink and teal is these are all from nash print works and i just love these they're like called sugar palms or something like that i can't remember exactly what she calls them but they're just so cute and they're sparkly they don't really hold up that great when you put this in your bag so you can kind of see like this pink one already has some of the like gemstones coming off of it so I'm not sure if I just want to like color that in so you won't really see but it, it doesn't bother me too much but it was kind of a lesson learned to not throw this into my backpack with all of these pins in there because they just don't hold up well when you're being rough with them so anyway that is pretty much my entire planner setup and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the Valentine setup. Really, if you want something that doesn't take as much time or creativity and you just want something that's already done for you but that has really, really cute designs and all you have to do is like literally all I did is decide which ones were going front and back, printed it out, I had to cut it with my paper cutter to be the A5 size and then I laminated it and punched it. So I did this last night when I was watching some um, a movie with my husband and it took me maybe an hour to finish the entire planner and put it together, which is a lot less time than it was taking me when I was trying to find my own graphics, trying to figure out which of the like scrapbook papers and stuff I wanted to use. So the digital dash is a really great option if you want something that's kind of done for you and you know I could always mix and match this with a future kit or with other things in the future since they're they're digitals you can kind of reuse them and like I said I'm not in any way like uh, ambassador for her or you know getting any kind of money or anything like that for talking about it it's just that I really have enjoyed it it's been something that's made it easy for me to switch out my binders without spending a lot of time or creativity setting it up but it still looks great and makes me feel good so basically that is my setup for February for my planner and hopefully um, you guys enjoyed that if you would like to see more videos like this let me know and I will definitely do more setups or more plan with me's in the future otherwise I hope you enjoyed this and I hope that you will subscribe to this channel hit that notification bell if you'd like to be notified when new videos come up for me I talk about all things planner and organizing and if you're a writer I also do a lot of videos on self-publishing so check those out I will see you guys in my next video